Russia-Ukraine war live, Finland approves NATO membership application in a historic vote. As the brutal Russia-Ukraine war enters day 83, Ukrainian forces have fulfilled their combat mission in Mariupol port city. Meanwhile, Sweden and Finland have announced their efforts to join NATO. On the other hand, European Union failed to reach unanimity on imposing a ban on Russian oil imports Joseph Burrell says EU Defense Ministry continue military support for Ukraine. The head of EU diplomacy Joseph Burrell stated that the chiefs of the EU Defense Ministry met with Ukraine's Minister of Defense, Alexei Reznikov on Tuesday to discuss the Ukrainian army's defense needs and that the EU defense ministers continue their military. He said that Alexei Reznikov addressed the situation in Ukraine and discussed the requirements of the Ukrainian military. He further stated that their assistance has an impact on the battlefield and the Ukrainian army's capabilities and that these initiatives must be supported, and resources and stockpiles must be explainer. Why is Turkey wary of Nordic states' NATO bid? Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has thrown a spanner in the works of Sweden and Finland's historic decisions to seek NATO membership, declaring that he cannot allow them to join due to their alleged support of Kurdish militants and other groups that Ankara says threaten its national NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has voiced confidence that the alliance will move to admit Sweden and Finland swiftly. But Erdogan's declaration suggests that the two Nordic countries' path to membership could be anything but smooth. Turkey's approval is crucial because the military alliance makes its decisions by consensus. Any of its 30 member countries can veto a new member. NATO will use Sweden and Finland territories for expanding eastward, says Lavrov. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov accused the NATO military alliance of using Sweden and Finland territories for expanding eastward. While speaking at the educational marathon conference New Horizons organized by the Russians Nani, Knowledge, Society on Tuesday, Lavrov said he found nothing new in both countries seeking NATO membership. As per Lavrov, Finland, Sweden and other neutral countries have for years participated in NATO's military exercises and now the intergovernmental organization will use their territories for its expansion. Finland, Sweden and other neutral countries have for years participated in NATO's military exercises. NATO has taken its territories into account in planning its eastward movement. In this context, it apparently makes no difference anymore in connection with their admission to NATO, TASS quoted Lavrov war crimes investigators going to Ukraine. The International Criminal Court prosecutor says he's sent a team of 42 investigators, forensic experts and support personnel to Ukraine as part of a probe into suspected war crimes during Russia's invasion. ICC prosecutor Karim Khan said Tuesday that the team will significantly enhance the impact of our forensic and investigative actions on the ground. Khan says the team will improve the gathering of witness testimony, the identification of forensic materials and help ensure that evidence is collected in a manner that strengthens its admissibility in future proceedings at the Netherlands-based Russia to consider introduction of bill on banning exchange of prisoners of war. Russia will consider a draft resolution on the ban exchange of prisoners of war. Head of the State Duma Defense Committee Andrei Kartopolov told RIA Nova The Defense Committee proposes to include tomorrow in the procedure of the State Duma the consideration of a draft resolution on the instructions of the Chairman of the State Duma on preventing the exchange of Nazi criminals, he told the Russian state-owned news agent. Russians launch missile attack on bridge across the Dniester estuary for fifth time. Russian forces struck the bridge across the Dniester estuary with a missile for the fifth time on Tuesday, Kyiv Independent report. As per the reports, the bridge was badly damaged and will require costly and time-consuming repairs. Ukraine's Southern Operational Command said it is impossible to start reconstruction at the moment. Russia expelling two Finnish diplomats. Russia says it is expelling two Finnish diplomats and will leave a multinational organization focused on the Baltic Sea, 
as tensions remain high over Finland and Sweden's ambitions to join NATO. The Russian Foreign Ministry on Tuesday framed the expulsion of the two Finnish diplomats as a response to Finland expelling two Russians last month. Finland Brewery launches NATO-themed beer with country on brink of joining bloc. A Finland-based brewery has launched a NATO-themed beer, dubbed OTAN, which is French for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The brand features a white-colored cartoon figure wearing a metal armor suit, inscribed with the NATO flag's compass symbol on the beers. The manufacturer of NATO-themed beer is Olaf Brewing, a small brewery based in Savonlinna. Notably, the NATO-branded beer has been launched at a time when Finland is already seeking to become a member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, a move that is being supported by the majority of Asper reports. The beer company had been considering launching a NATO-themed beer for some time, and it finally executed its idea when Finland officially announced its bid to become a part of the military alliance. Biden to host leaders of Sweden. Finland amid NATO bids. President Joe Biden will host Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson of Sweden and President Sally Ninis to a Finland at the White House for a meeting Thursday amid their push to join NATO in the wake of Russia's invasion of the White House said they would discuss the two countries' applications to join the Mutual Defense Alliance as well as European security broadly. The requests by the long neutral nations to join NATO have been widely lauded within the alliance as a rebuke of Russia after its invasion of Ukraine, though Turkey has expressed reservations. Finland's parliament approves NATO application following a 14-hour debate. The Finnish lawmakers approved the proposal of applying for membership in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. On Tuesday, the historic development came as the 188 MPs voted in favor of the proposal while eight were voted against it. Earlier today, Finnish President Sally Niinistö, who arrived in Sweden for an official two-day visit, while addressing Swedish Parliament, said, Russia's grand offensive against Ukraine made it clear that Russia, once more, is ready to use its armed forces in nearby areas to re The sum of these factors demonstrated that our traditional positioning was unsustainable. UK Mod says Russia resorted to indiscriminate shelling due to limited target acquisition. As the escalating war between Russia and Ukraine entered day 83, the UK Ministry of Defence issued its latest intelligence update. The UK Defence Ministry has said that Russia has likely resorted to increased dependence on indiscriminate artillery bombardment due to limited target acquisition capability and the reluctance of the troops to risk flying combat aircraft. It further said that Russia will likely continue to depend heavily on massed artillery strikes in the coming weeks to regain momentum in its advance in the Donbass region. Finnish President addresses Sweden's parliament. Finnish President Sally Niinistö on Tuesday arrived in Sweden for an official two-day visit, welcomed by Sweden's King Carl XVI Gustaf and Queen Sylvia, who had invited him. During an address to the Swedish parliament, Niinistö spoke of the historic significance of Sweden and Finland joining NATO. Following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Russia's grand offensive against Ukraine made it clear that Russia, once more, is ready to use its armed forces in nearby areas to reach its goals. The sum of these factors demonstrated that our traditional positioning was unsustainable, Ninis to said about the decision to join the alliance. Russian forces attack Sumy Oblast 76 times, says Gov. Sumy Oblast governor, on Tuesday, informed that the Russian forces bombarded the region at least 76 times on May 17. Governor Dmitry Levitsky informed Moscow attempted to break through the Ukrainian border in the oblast, and there were fires along the border caused by shelling. Lavrov, Ukraine expendable item in hybrid war. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Tuesday called Ukraine an expendable item in the hybrid war against the Russian Federation. Nobody doubts that by now, it was announced publicly, Russia's top diplomat said. Lavrov also claimed Ukraine was being physically dragged into NATO. He spoke about the current priorities in Russia's foreign policy, 
which he said favored accelerating relations with the countries who respect the principles of UN regular laws courage shown by Ukrainian force, appeals to support Kyiv with weapons. High representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Josep Borrell, hailed the courage shown by Ukrainian forces during the ongoing war. He appealed to the countries to support Ukraine with weapons. Ukraine is showing a very strong resistance. The results of the war now in no way correspond to Russian expectations. The Ukrainians are stopping the Russian army. We must continue to support them with weapons. Burrell said.